Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today we're continuing our look at the Building Gadgets mod, specifically the Copy and Paste tool, and how to use a Template Manager. Uh, these are items and devices that make it very easy to rebuild structures and items you've already built, uh, and a great asset to your game. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. And most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need to make is a copy-paste tool, which is pretty easy. It's going to be four iron ingots, two redstone, a lapis, and two emeralds. And then we're also going to make a template manager, which is almost the same. But we're replacing the iron with four gold ingots two redstone, a lapis, and two emeralds. All right. So let's start off by grabbing a few different items. We'll grab ourselves a copy-paste tool, some gold, and some iron. Now, as you see here, I've built a little line of items here. So what the copy-paste tool does, uh, much like the building gadget, allows you to take this and rebuild it. So if I was to, hypothetically, it's default, it's always in copy mode when you first pick it up. You're going to right-click on the first block you want to copy and then shift right click on the last. As you can see, there's a little white line around the outer edge here now. That means that is the shape that's been highlighted. Okay, so right now we have copied this line of five blocks. Okay, if we hit the, all right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down the G button and you can choose between copy or paste. We're gonna switch to paste. And now I can reset that, rebuild that anywhere that I want. As long as I have the iron and gold in my inventory, I can set that down and rebuild it again and again and again. So if I'm building a wall with a specific pattern or a floor with a specific pattern, I could then go ahead and drop those very, very easily. Grab that here. Broke a block. Oof. So again, that, that. I could then build a pattern. I could do it any which way I like. So go ahead and clear that out. Okay, so... That's a great way to rebuild lines of specific items. Let's see if we can take it a little bit further. Over here, I've designed a cube that is three by three by three, with a combination of diamond and gold. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a fresh copy tool. Now in this situation, if I wanna get the entire thing, and this will go in cubes, uh, we'll copy in, in blocks of even size. If I was to go to this bottom right-hand corner, or bottom left-hand corner, and right-click as I did before, but now I go to the upper opposite corner and shift right-click, now as you can see, we're highlighting the entire block. So I hold down the G button, go to paste, and now I can paste that block anywhere that I want to. Now again, you still have to have the gold or diamond and the items you're trying to paste in your inventory. Now, if you have a shape like this and you want to clear it out, all you have to do is right shift cl click on an open space and it'll give you this menu if you're in paste. But the one you're looking for is back in copy. I'll hold down the G menu, okay? Get back to copy and then shift right click and it gives us what we've basically saved. You can hit clear and that will erase whatever you've highlighted. That's an easy way to kind of get back to a default. Let's just say we don't have the gold or diamond to do this. Well, we instead we can use, of course, paste. Now, I've shown how to make and use paste in a previous tutorial, and I will link that down in the description of this tutorial. But if I was to do the same thing here, copy, shift right click, copy the entire block now, switch to paste. Now, as I'm pasting, it would use the paste instead of gold or diamond blocks, because I don't have any. Now, again, I'm in creative, so of course, the 64 did not go down, but it would use a paste instead, except our item we're looking at would be um, made of paste instead of gold and diamond. That out. Now, let's say you have a pattern like this that you've built, and you want to be able to build with it later, but you don't want to just leave it copied into a, your copy-paste tool. You want to copy a bunch of stuff. Let's go ahead in here. Right now, as you can see, we've got our 3x3x3. Three by three by three. This is where the template manager comes in. Grab one of those. Luckily, the template manager does not require any type of power source. The only thing you're going to need is some paper. So if we go into the template manager and we take our copy-paste tool, which has the memorized pattern in it, you'll see that now we have the pattern here in a little square. We can move it around to look at different sides should we need to. If we take a piece of paper and put it in the slot on the right and we hit save, 
it's going to change that to a template. It's going to remember that design that we had. So when we clear it out of our copy paste tool, this template will remember it. And you can rename the template. We'll just call this one cube. Click save. Now that template has a name, cube. Take it out. Take out our copy paste tool. Now we go and say we're going to uh, go ahead and go to, to copy. Right, clear that out. So now we no longer have the memory of what we were using before. It's the paste tool is completely empty. We go back into our template manager, copy paste tool there. We take that template, and in this situation, we're going to choose load. And now the design that we had saved to that template is back in our copy paste tool. And we go to shift right click. You see, that would clear it out. We hold down G, we can go to paste. And we now have the pattern back inside of our copy paste tool. So if you build very intricate patterns, designs, and you want to save them for later, you can definitely do that. So this is a great way to be able to rebuild things other than just a simple block, if you will. And while and a, and a way of storing those different patterns or builds using different templates, you have a chest full of those, grab the one you need whenever you want to rebuild something specific. But it's a great way to remember, and it's very easy to use. Um, and if you're building repeat patterns like this, what, maybe one of these in every corner of a, a flat area, or you're building a wall in this pattern, you can just set these side by side by side, as long as you have the gold and diamond, or the paste to be able to build as much as you need. All right, so that's just a quick look at the copy paste tool and the template manager. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put those down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I possibly can, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have for other tutorials you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com, and there, at the bottom of the homepage, you'll find a place you could submit feedback, questions, or recommendations via email. You'll also find a link to all my videos and tutorials, my social media accounts, streaming schedule, the ODG store, links to join the ODG Discord channel, and a lot of other awesome resources. I really do recommend checking out the website. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.